the Pisaten. Well, evidently it's not as well known as some other wilderness areas. That's okay, because I really like a little bit of solitude with my wilderness experience. And tucked along the Canadian border in north central Washington, the Pisaten has loads of solitude to offer. I try to visit the area at least once or twice during the year, either to relax and unwind, or to relax and do trail work. I've never been disappointed. But how to best describe the Pisaten? The word Pisaten is Native American, Salish I think, and means water from round top hills. And I think that's both very apt and very descriptive, because there's a lot of water there, and there's a lot of round topped hills. It just sounds good to the ear, too. Waters from round-topped hills. Water is a big feature here, from lakes filled with cutthroat trout to streams that meander through high country meadows. The Pisaten has over 160 water bodies that dot the landscape. And those round-topped hills? Well, 150 of them rise past 7,500 feet in elevation. This is high country. And it's big. The Pisaten is one of the larger wilderness areas in the lower 48. The Pisaten is 531,375 very big acres in a very wild piece of country in north central Washington. And those 830 square miles have over 600 miles of trails to explore. I really like those numbers, especially the 600 miles of trails part. From streams to mountains, this place has a lot to offer stock users. Unfortunately, a lot of those trails are in bad shape. Time and weather take their toll, even on mountains and dirt. If you decide to visit, be sure to check the trail reports and bring a saw. Shall we cut it? This is Stella, and Stella always comes with me when I go into the wilderness, because I'd much rather carry a big saw than have to cut a trip short. A few years ago, I visited the Pisaten with the Backcountry Horsemen of Washington for a huge trail clearing work party where nearly 50 people, together with 65 horses and mules, reopened over 42 miles of wilderness trails that had been closed for nearly a decade. You might ask, why not bring a little bit faster machine? Well, you can't. You see, the Pisaten is a wilderness with capital W. That means things like chainsaws and other machinery aren't allowed. This is cross-cut country. 49 years ago, in 1968, Congress designated this area a wilderness, which is defined as a place with outstanding opportunities for solitude and a primitive and unconfined type of recreation. A wilderness is a rare and wild place where you can retreat from civilization to find peace and solitude. If you've never experienced a true wilderness, the Satan is a great place to start. Riders that make the trip north will have a variety of adventures waiting for them here on the Canadian border. In the western side of the wilderness, rugged ridges rule the area, whereas in the east side of the wilderness, more park-like plateaus prevail. Visitors to the Pisaten will see evidence of wildfires. So we're going through a burn right now. So can you tell me more about this burn? This burn was the tripod complex back in, no, oh, I think it was about 2006, maybe. So how many square miles were in this burn, do you know? One heck of a lot. After a fire, the nutrients in the soil are more readily available for use by plants, which in turn jump starts the cycle of recovery with an increase of available food for the resident elk, moose, wolves, and bear they call the area home, as well as a forest that's less vulnerable to fires in the future. Wildfires are really scary, but they're also nature's way of cleaning the forest and bringing about baby trees.
The Pesaten is a fabulous place. It's well worth visiting and daydreaming over. Uh-oh. Well, that means it must be time to get back to our attack cleaning discussion. Okay, I'm on it.